Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting, and I'm sitting out here on this beautiful day in my garden. And I'm working on a handwork project. Handwork is the perfect thing to work on in the summer because it travels so easily. So whether you just want to enjoy your yard like me, you're going on a road trip, or you're packing for a vacation, consider bringing a handwork project with you. So today our staff is going to share some ideas for packing your handwork projects and storing them so that you can take them with you. So let's check them out. Here's a way to store your English paper piecing supplies. Try a jam jar. So here we just have a glass clear jam jar. And inside we have room for our thread and snips, a bunch of uh, already completed hexagons, a thimble, and you can see some fabrics at the bottom. And then we made this even more useful by adding a magnet to the inside cap, which uh, our clips and our needles stick to, so it's very handy. Another tip for English paper piecing. Here we have a bento box or a silicone collapsible lunch box. The individual uh, openings are perfect for your fabrics, your pieces and papers, and then your smaller supplies like needles, your uh, fabric glue, your snips, anything else you might need. Um, they fit easily in here and because it's silicone, it doesn't poke through the sides. But here's my favorite part about this. When you're not using this container to store any pieces, it's really easy to store because these are collapsible. So you can just push these in and then you have something super thin to store in your room. For storing embroidery supplies, get a hard eyeglass case. It's the perfect length to fit any marking tools, skeins of thread, embroidery floss, scissors, needles, and then all you need to grab is your hoop. For applique, especially wool pieces, consider using a four by six photo book. So inside here, we use each individual plastic page to store all of our cut pieces, and we just add a post-it note label. This is a really easy to keep all your pieces separated until you're ready to sew them down to a foundation. One extra tip. Get a photo album that has the, the openings towards the center. If it's towards the top, you might lose all your pieces when you uh, kind of throw this in your bag. Hey, I'm Allison, and today I'm going to share with you a few quick tips on organizing those on-the-go projects. I've been working on this EPP project for a few years now, and it's gone many places with me. I keep them, all my pieces in this plastic container. It's nice because there are dividers which come out so you can reconfigure them. It just has spaces for everything. Um, and one of the best things about this is because it's a hard case, you can just throw it in a bag without anything getting smushed or worrying about your scissors poking through or anything like that. Once I have more of my project actually assembled, I like to store the pieces in a zipper pouch, which is kind of see-through, which is nice, so I know which project is in there. And again, this is just an easy bag to toss into a larger tote. Hi, I'm Doris. I want to share a quick tip with you today on what I use for carrying my items along for sewing on the go. This is my hand sewing kit that goes with me virtually everywhere. As you can tell, as far as the contents, it's pretty basic. But the tip I wanted to share is actually in regards to the bag that I use um, for to contain everything. It is a plastic bag with zipper and handles that originally held a set of bed sheets that came from Target. You can find similar bags in other areas of the store, such as those that um, contain like a gift set of body products. The best thing about it, using the see-through bag is that when I'm packing to leave the house or if I'm packing back up after I'm sewing out and about somewhere, at a glance I can tell that I've got everything back in the bag and I'm not leaving anything behind.